Hi everyone, I have another Dollar Tree haul, and that just fell down. Okay. Well, might as well start with this, I guess. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree about a week ago, um, and I picked up some items. So I got this big roll of toilet, I'm um, not toilet paper, paper towels. Which is a good deal, I think... What did it say? It had 210 sheets, and um, usually something like that would be like a dollar fifty or something at my supermarket. I got this container. I think they came in blue as well, but I got this to keep in my bathroom to keep um, my bubble bars and bath bombs and stuff like that in, because. Um, I have them all in plastic bags now, and I figured I would keep them in something like that. Alright, I also got this bag. is a zipper bag um, for, for um, blankets and such. This is the uh, label that it came with. So it was Jumbo Blanket Storage Bag. I thought it would be a little bit thicker. The plastic is very thin, not much more thicker than like a trash bag type, but it's like a different kind of consistency for plastic, so we'll try it. I wanted to get something like that because my linen closet is very small, and I wanted to get something where I could keep like sheets and blankets in, um, and I can put these like under my bed or in my closet or something like that, but they'll be zippered up, so... They'll be protected from, like, dust or spiders or whatever. So I have a lot of spiders in my house for some reason. I don't know. And this I got. This wasn't... I opened it up, but it's, um, like a fabric with, like, um, probably, like, cardboard storage box. And it has, like, a little handle. I think these came in different colors. I grabbed this. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use for this. Originally, I was going to use it for keeping some things in my car, um, like, uh, like my ice scraper and stuff like that in my car, and I'll put that in the back, but I'm not sure. I might use this for something else. I might use this to keep, um, like microfiber towels and, t um, just cleaning towels, clean ones to put under, um, my sink. That might be what I use. And this is size A. I'm not sure if they had other sizes, but it's, you know, it's a decent amount size. Like if you have like a, like those cube storage shelves, these would fit in there. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's other things you can get, but I mean, these are a dollar. So if you were looking to save money, you could probably get a bunch of these and put them in there. And, um, if they come in different colors, maybe you'd find something that you'd like. If you're interested in something like that. Alright. And. Let's see. I got. These. They're. The reusable. Um, plastic containers. These are. Two and a quarter cups each. And the reason I got these. There's only two in here. But because they have the twist top. And I like the twist top better. Than the ones that you just kind of. Press on. Because sometimes those don't fit very well. Or they get warped in some way. Um, and if you have something. That's in like a lunch box. Or something like that. Sometimes stuff can leak out of there. If it gets dumped upside down or something like that and this I find it's I've never used this specific brand before but I think of you like the Ziploc brand and I feel like things are secure in here especially if you wanted to put like some soup or something in here I'd feel secure that even if it got dumped around um, that it wouldn't spill all over the bag and onto anything else um, or if it was just by itself it wouldn't spill on anything in the fridge but I thought that would be good, even to keep leftovers in, in the fridge, but we'll try them out. They have Betty Crocker brand items at the Dollar Tree, as I'm sure you all know, um, and I was going to get 
bought Betty Crocker brand, but I didn't find any of the twist top ones of hers. And I got another super meal. Another thing that I got, but I did this like a week ago, so I've already ate it, eaten, eaten it, was um one of those bags of Wise cheese doodles, like the hard, crunchy ones. So I got that. This one is beef flavor super meal. I can only find these at the Dollar Tree now. Maybe Do the Dollar Tree is the only one that sells them now, but at a couple different supermarkets where I live... I haven't been able to find these. I found other types, but they're usually like really spicy or something. But I got this. And my neighbor next door, he recently had um, a, I think he had an above the knee leg amputation. So, he has a cat, and his cat eats canned food as well as dry food, and the other day he had asked if we had any canned food, and typically we don't. Usually my cat just eats dry food, but where my cat is now on the special urinary care diet because he had um, these uh, crystals, these ammonia crystals in his urethra, and he had a big issue, and he was at the vet for four days. And Anyways, um... I had medicine and he wouldn't eat it, so I had bought these like a month ago that I think I had put in my haul, I can't remember, but I had bought two cans of these, and these are like big, like almost like dog food size cans, um, and I bought like the plastic uh, lids from the Dollar Tree too that to keep on, because obviously I'm not going to give this whole thing to my cat um, in one sitting at least, but at least it keeps it more fresh if I have the covers on. Anyways, and those covers are good for, you know, they had a picture of a dog on them, but I got them. But even, like, the dog food or, like, the smaller cans of cat food, not the small, small cans, like, like the Fancy Feast or whatever, but the, you know what I mean, like, the regular size of cat food cans. So, anyways, um, he wanted some canned food, and because I had brought my cat to the vet, I got a, um, that prescription diet food and dry food and canned food and he doesn't my cat doesn't really eat the diet food um so he did but then I think he got hip to the point that I was putting his medicine in it and so now I think he associates that food with eating medicine so he won't eat it so um my mom gave him a the neighbor a can of that so I thought I would go to the store to do the Dollar Tree and get him a few cans because it's difficult for him to get out and he lives by himself um, and he drives he's not supposed to drive with someone that has an amputation because he doesn't have a prosthesis but whatever to each their own um, but I got him three cans they're just different flavors I think this is like yeah ocean white fish this one, mixed grill, and turkey and giblets, and they're Friskies brand, so I mean that's good for a dollar. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to put this out. I bought this. This is smaller than I'd like. It's kind of like a small version of like a laundry basket, but that's too small for my laundry at least. So, I bought it because I had hauled a few weeks ago, a, um, it's like a pink basket thing, but this is more hard. This was like more flexible, this pink basket thing. Um, and they had green ones and all like the summer colors, but they were like out of them when I went to the store the next time, because then they kind of took all the summer stuff out and were restocking with all the fall and autumn type things. But they had this and I figured I would try to use this for keeping some um, outside yard items, um, like the batteries for my electric lawnmower, um, the loppers and garden gloves and plant food and that kind of stuff. All right. They also had a big display of breast cancer awareness items, and I believe this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As you probably have seen in different stores, they'll have, like, pink bags for shopping and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Ribbons and things like that. So they had a lot of different kinds of socks. They had longer socks, like crew socks, but 
I got these specifically because my nursing clogs really don't fit me unless I'm wearing like a thin type sock. So these are pretty thin, but I thought these were cute with the pink stripes and the black. Um, they had a lot of different ones. I didn't get all the varieties. And then this one, what does it say? Join the fight. Um, so it's cute and it has like the pink heel and toes. And then this one was gray with different color pink ribbons. So yeah, I thought those were cute. I mean, those are dollar each. I could always use socks. Um, and they also had these hair ribbons, but I'm not sure I'll use these as hair, as hair ribbons. I've seen, um, I've noticed that some people in hall say they wear these types of hair ties as, um, like they're elastic hair ties, but they wear them as bracelets and they have solid colors, but I thought this one would be nice to wear as a bracelet. I can wear some hair ties too, but there's three that come in here. And let me just take this out of the way because I got a couple other, or at least one other breast cancer item, breast cancer awareness item. So this is that pink basket I was talking about. I'm just using this to keep stuff in. I didn't buy it at the Dollar Tree this time. So let's see here. I know I had a pen. Some of these things I've started using, so they're not... Here it is. This cute little pen. And it's pink. Like a lighter pink with hot pink. Sorry, this isn't the best focusing job. And it says, what does it say? Courage, hope, strength. And it's black ink. And it's a push pin with this cute little top. They had two, I think, different varieties of this. I got this one for work. I also finally found this Lisa Frank pen. I've seen people haul this pen. Um, and it's one of those pens that has all the different color inks in it. I wanted to get it hoping there was a black ink. Because at work I can only use black ink. Why isn't this focusing? Anyways. Um, but I couldn't find it because I've been looking in different Dollar Trees where they have the stationery and writing utensils. But this was in the like toy section for kids so I finally found it so I was excited I know these have been around for a little while and I just haven't been able to find them and I really wanted it and I got a stylus to use with my phone I just prefer using one of these than my finger obviously if I am out I don't usually keep the stylus with me but at home or whatever I just I, I don't know I just prefer using the stylus and it's cute it's black and it has like rhinestones on it but they had different colors but I just like this one better I have another one someplace that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree but it's similar except this is a light green color so I've been using that and I already opened this this um, I got oops you saw me this mirror came with a smaller like purse mirror here it is so both of those together were in the package and that was um a dollar obviously and it opens up let's see if i can open it up one-handed probably not anyways it opens up and there's a mirror on each side but they're both the same type like that one isn't more magnifying than the other but I just got that I mean can't beat that for a dollar and I've been wanting a bigger mirror to use so I also got these these are like those pink breast cancer awareness ones but they're black but they're the same style I've never used these before so we'll see how that is but I had a bunch of um like scunchy or goody brand black elastic like hair bands and my cat likes to play with those I don't know my cat can like smell the rubber or whatever that they're made out of he just always finds a way to find them whether 
there on the coffee table or somewhere else. He just finds them and he plays with them. So they're probably under my couch. Um, but yeah, he plays with these. So these he hasn't bothered to, but they probably don't smell the same because they're a different style. <clears throat> I also got a hairbrush. It's par purple and it has like sparkles, like glitter. I got this to keep in my work bag. I got a um, bath poof. I thought that was a pretty green color. I needed a new one, so I got that. I also got a couple packages of these batteries. Now, I've bought these kinds of batteries, this brand, I should say, of batteries from the Dollar Tree before. They were, um, but they're white, and they have their red sunbeam. And I think it, would, it said for low drain. This says for high drain. Um devices but I've never seen these before I've seen these alkaline ones but not the triple A's I've seen the um they've had like D batteries or whatever um and I a lot of my things for work take triple A batteries so I like to have these and put them in my work bag and I got two packages of those so hopefully these last longer because the other ones don't last as long and I have a um, wrist blood pressure cuff and a thermometer and the digital thermometer and the cuff take AAA batteries and the thermometer is fine because it pretty much turns off right after you use it but the cuff stays on and I have to physically shut it off. I mean it turns off after a while but I think that's what's draining the batteries so and then some other the patients at work sometimes need batteries so I have them in a bag in case someone needs them or a tape recorder at work or whatever um, I got another one of these hair wraps I had hauled before I had one that was kind of like a green and a blue and this is like a black pink coral type so I like these they're really thin but I've never really used hair wraps before and I really like this kind the one that has like the elastic like scrunchy looking part in the back um, so hopefully I can find more some places like I don't know I think I saw some at forever 21 so we'll see about that um, and then there's just one more thing I have other stuff in there um, I think this is it yeah and I bought some more earbuds but they're cute they're little ice cream cones thought those were cute so you can always use these sometimes these don't last as long but whatever they're a dollar I'd rather spend a dollar than five dollars or more and it break so those are cute but my other ones still work but I got those I think that is everything I got I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all having a nice week. Um, where I live, I live in Massachusetts, and the leaves are turning right now. I'm going up to New Hampshire this weekend to visit a friend, and hopefully I'll see a lot of foliage and be a leaf peeper, as they're called, um, when we have tourists come up here to look at the fall foliage. Alrighty, well, you all have a nice week, have a nice weekend, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.